Civil Engineering Academy. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from hydrology. The problem states find the average runoff flow rate in meters cubed per second between hours 3 and 4 of the storm shown below. So we're asked to find hours 3 to 4, which is found right here. This is called a hydrograph. And if you're using the civil, whoops, civil engineering reference manual, chapter 20 goes over hydrographs. Basically, you could plot this a Q versus T. You know, in hour one, you'd have eight, 19, hour two, 22, hour three, we don't know, hour four is seven, and you develop some sort of curve like this. And we're trying to find the value right there at this time, three to four hours. So uh, how are we going to do this? We're also given the excess precipitation and the area. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to know, we know that volume equals time times flow rate. And so in this case, we have all these different flow rates. So we're going to sum up the flow rates and we need to solve for this hour. So I'm going to call this Q1, 2, 3, 4. Four and five and we're going to rewrite this basically to this volume equals time times q1 plus q2 plus q3 plus q4 plus q5 and then I'm going to rewrite it in terms of q4 because that's the one that we want so q4 is going to equal our total volume divided by time minus Q1 minus Q2 minus Q3 minus Q5. So, all right, we got that set up. The next thing we need to do is use equation 20.21 in the Civil Engineering Reference Manual that states that our total volume is equal to the area times the excess precipitation. So we were just given all that. Let's convert all this to meters so we have the same units. So this is 0 0.00893 meters. And this area kilometers squared, so that's actually 25 million meters squared. So if we plug that into here, 25 million meters squared times 0 0.00893 meters. I get an answer of 2.2325 times 10 to the fifth meters uh, cubed volume. Okay, now that we got that, we just plug this right up into here we know volume now time these are all in increments of one hour so we're going to use one hour and convert it to seconds because our flow rates are in meters cubed per second so now all we do is plug everything into this equation so we got 2.2325 times 10 to the fifth divided by 3600 seconds minus Q1 was 8, minus Q2 is 19 meters cubed per second, minus 22, minus 7, and what does that give me? I get a total answer of 6.01 meters cubed per second. Final answer is A on this one. So this is a pretty good hydrograph uh, problem going over hydrology. I hope that helped you out. Head to uh, Civil Engineering Academy for more tips and tricks related to the PE. Thanks. Bye.